And as Bree said, there are more hearings to come, but we wanted to know what could come next after the investigation, and how does this compare to that infamous presidential scandal of 50 years ago? Lydia Esparra went searching for answers. There has been some comparison from the Watergate hearings of 1973 to the January 6th hearings. And while they are the same, they are different. That was a burglary at a little office of the Democratic National Committee. This was an attack on the United States Capitol. Lee Fisher is the dean of Cleveland State University Marshall College of Law. And while there's some similarities, I think the big difference here is that this were acts of violence. Uh, it wasn't some small burglary. A small burglary that led to Richard Nixon leaving the Oval Office before any impeachment proceedings began. But on Tuesday, testifying a close aide to Mark Meadows, Cassidy Hutchinson, told the committee former President Donald Trump and some of his cabinet knew the insurrection on the Capitol was going to happen, and protesters were armed. Most of the witnesses have been Republicans, and most of the witnesses have worked for former President Trump. That gives it a special layer of credibility. Hutchinson also testified she was told the Secret Service prevented Trump from taking the wheel of his limo when agents would not take him to the Capitol and grab the neck of an agent inside that limo. A spokesman for the agency says this. The United States Secret Service has been cooperating with the select committee since its inception in spring of 2021 and will continue to do so including by responding on the record to the committee regarding the new allegations surfaced in today's testimony. So I asked Fisher, what is next for the January 6th committee? I think that in the end, it'll be up to the United States Justice Department because the Congressional Committee doesn't have the power uh, to do anything uh, on the criminal side of the law, but the Justice Department does. Has it been proved? I don't think it's necessarily been proved, but I think that the evidence is damaging to the former president. Now, Lee Fisher adds that all Americans, if you can, should watch the hearings, whether you support the former president or not. And of course, Russ, he's saying because this is history, history in the making, and that's why people should try and be educated over what happens really on the Hill. Yeah, very good advice. Lydia Spar in the newsroom. Thank you.